get Bella for me? Can you wake Bella up? Fine. Here, let's go outside. Bella, you want back inside? Anyways, today I think I'm gonna go for a walk, honestly. It's really warm out. I think that, I wish I woke up a little earlier. Honestly, that's like one thing with me. It's like I've been struggling to wake up early, like my whole life, honestly. Like, I don't know why, but I just like can't get up in the mornings. Um, I don't know what it is, but it's really annoying. I also have a mosquito bite on my foot from the weekend. Taylor literally texted me last night at like 2 a.m. about centipedes. Cause she also lives in a basement. So <laughs> she was just texting me ranting about them. So funny. Okay, on the to-do list today. Oh, start the new vlog. Check. Pack orders, make orders. It's literally all I have on my list. And then tomorrow I should be doing some more interesting things because me and Taylor are gonna go to like a cafe and do some things. And tomorrow will be more interesting. Today I'm just gonna go for a walk and pack orders. And probably, maybe, I'm gonna try and read a little bit today. A little bit, because I need to keep reading. I'm gonna eat now and go for a walk. God, the duck is, there's two ducks that come in the backyard. And the, the I was gonna say mama, but they don't, I don't know if they have babies, so. Oh, look at it. Oh my god, she's beautiful. Oh, there's another one. Wow. The zoom on this camera is really good. I'm really shocked right now. Let's see if we can go further. <gasps> Whoa. Wow, the zoom on this camera is really good. <laughs> Guys, I'm shocked right now. And then there's Maya. I should probably bring her inside before she notices the dog. I don't want you eating the duck. The male lady's here. Some sunscreen. Post on my story asking if you guys want the watermelon earrings back. So we'll see what the poll says. I think it's gonna be a yes because I'm guys, I haven't made these since 2020. And I think I need to bring them back. Especially for summer. Should I do a summer collection this weekend? We might be doing that. I'm obsessed. I've had these for so long. These are like I never keep my own pairs of earrings, but these are a pair of earrings that I kept. And I'm not mad about it. At all. Say hello, this is Monique. <laughs> she was just watching the vlog. <laughs> the duck is back. 
Hello, duck. What's wrong? The, it, dude, it never worked. Every time I put it in, okay, see, okay, it, it's the right way. And then it's like I have the money in there, and then every time they're like, no. it said no. And then I have to go pay inside, and then they, on this PA thing, they get pissed. Rest in peace. sitting on cushions in the backyard. I'm trying to figure out my Patreon because I don't know what to do for that. Um, but I'm gonna figure it out. They're, they're eating the apples. Are you guys eating the apples? Apple eater! Are you a, oh, are you an apple eater? See you too. Like, I'm too smart like, for that. Look good. at the angle. Oh my. Middle line hand. Lay down like a little piggy. See, Lexi. Oh, Lexi, you're too far away. We're gonna pot these plants. My mom wants the green one. And then I'm gonna take the spotted one. Now my hands are gonna get all over the place. Ta-da! This one, I don't know. It will probably start vining that way. If my mom does leave it in this. But we'll see what she does. Okay, I totally forgot to do a haul of all the other stuff that I got from Bath and Body Works, but I basically just got like two of the mini shower gels and then I got uh, like a lotion to match one of the shower gels. And then from Sephora, I got my birthday kit because my birthday was like the 18th of May. Um, I got the toner. Um, I just got cut off, but because <laughs> my camera actually accidentally turned off. But anyways, then I got this moisturizer. I got this... Um, I don't really know. That's what it says. I'm not going to really read it because I'm going to butcher the words. So, <laughs> um, But yeah. And then I also got the cleanser in the ordinary. I got their cleanser because I actually really like their cleanser. But I already put it in the bathroom. So <laughs> that's why it's not here. But then I got my birthday gift. Which there was uh, like if you guys shop at Sephora you guys know there's three different things you can pick from for your birthday. I just picked this one. What, Vina? What's wrong? Why are you whining? What's wrong? Watered all of my plants, finally. <laughs> they were like four days, and then some of them were like seven days over two. So I finally watered them. And this one is growing. Like, I need to repot it. Look at its roots. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty, though. Good morning, even though it's almost noon. Wayna! <laughs> you know, we probably need two. Because right now, there's not even a bag in the garbage. So, hi Lexi, you wanna come downstairs? Come on. There's not even a bag in my garbage, so all the garbage that's in the bin I'm gonna have to throw out in one of these garbage bags, and then I'm gonna have to put a new garbage bag in it, so. That's why I have to grab two, because I was too lazy the first time. See what I mean? I was too lazy to put a garbage bag in it. No, 
kind of looks like this. Flip her over like a pancake. We did it! How to change a garbage 101. You're welcome. I also have to check if there's a bird outside because apparently there's a bird trying to eat all the fish. So that's fun, right Wiener? You guys wanna go outside? I don't see a bird out here. Let me situate you here. So, um, I know it's almost noon and I haven't started vlogging it today, but it's basically just because like I started my morning, um, I ate, I did a little workout, I showered, and then I just did my makeup. So, I kind of start my work days a little late just because I'm kind of a person that stays up a little bit later and I also work later. So I usually work till like 10 o'clock at night. So, so we're like, you wake us so late for working, but it's because I don't start working till later. I kind of work like afternoons, kind of. It's just kind of how I've always been. I don't know, I just can't wake up in the mornings. So I prefer to just work later instead. I don't know, maybe one day that will change, but for now that's kind of how it is. Anyways, today my hair's in like a, a sleek pony because I got out of the shower and it, do you know when you like put your hair up in a bun to take a shower because you don't want to wash your hair yet and then water kind of gets in it and it kind of makes it like feel a little greasy even though it's only like second day hair. So it, my hair doesn't really get greasy until like four day hair. So yeah, the water's making it feel greasy and weird so I just... It kind of ended up like this. I don't know what this is even looks like, but. So today I'm literally, it's going to be so boring because like all I have to do is make orders. That's all I'm doing today. So I have to make a bunch of Coraline earrings. I have to make mint macaroons. Oh, there's the postman. I have to make two snake rings. Um, I have to make panda macaroons, I have to make heart lollipops, I have to make sushis, I have to make the cake sets, I have to make a blue M&M, just one blue M&M, one blue M&M, <laughs> just, that's it. Um, I have to make two red ladybugs, um, I have to make cherry cupcakes, I have to make bee earrings. Sometimes I'm not going to get to all of these orders, just because it's a lot. This is kind of how I do my order list. These are all the orders and all the different items in the orders and then these are what I have to make and like the cross out is what I've already made so yeah anyways that's it it's not very exciting look at my disaster of a desk holy and honestly right now there's like no point in cleaning it because I'm gonna be doing clay stuff all day so like I look at it as like I'm gonna be making this even more of a mess anyways so I might as well not clean it I'll clean it later though like I'll probably clean it tomorrow before I do a Q&A okay usually this is really satisfying so I thought I would film it for the vlog and show you guys I was gonna film it for like a reel or something but honestly <laughs> vlogging is kind of easier not gonna lie because I can just hold my camera and I don't have to like set up my phone on tripod so for the vlog it is <laughs> Actually, this might not be that satisfying just because they're like flat. Hold on. Oh, usually they pop off and it's really satisfying. Hold on one second. Okay. We got one. Okay, I'm sorry. Usually this is more satisfying. Okay, when it's like big items like cupcakes, it's like really satisfying because they pop off really easily, but I think it's because... These are flat. These are supposed to be macaroon, like the cookies of the macaroon. It's kind of satisfying to me, I don't know. <laughs> I really like doing it, it's fun. These ones aren't really that stuck. I made all these cookies yesterday. Yeah, we made a lot of stuff so far. Um, I was just working, um, and, uh, the sunny day that we just had turned into a thunderstorm. Oh, there's just lightning. Oh my gosh, I hope you guys could hear that. <laughs> Are you scared? Is that a loud thunder? Oh, honey. 
You don't like the thunder, huh? All right, you hide out here while it's thundering. Logan's mom literally just called me and asked me if I had Lexi because apparently she really doesn't like thunderstorms, so that makes sense. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna turn some music on or a video or something. I think I won't put music on and a video just so she doesn't hear the thunder anymore. Okay, hold on, I'm getting another. It's raining a lot, huh? Yeah, you guys don't like the rain. Mine don't really care. But Max, you don't like it. You biting your leg? That'd be nice. Oh, listen to that thunder. Oh. Okay, you want some music on? And we'll put some YouTube videos on so you don't hear the thunder. Yeah, okay, we'll do that for you guys. if this is a good angle or not <laughs> but we're just gonna go with it because I don't know how much battery I have left on my camera or um, space my memory card so so I asked on Instagram like if you guys want to ask me questions like for a Q&A or whatever so we're just gonna be for the end of this vlog we're just gonna be answering those questions and that's it because uh, I have nothing else exciting today. Today's now Thursday. The, what is it? It's June 2nd now. And I want to get this vlog up for tomorrow. So, I'm just going to end this with a Q&A because the rest of this day I'm literally just doing orders and stuff again like yesterday was. So yeah, nothing exciting. This weekend I am doing some fun stuff. So I'll be vlogging it all and that will probably, hopefully be in Monday's vlog. I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay, Taylor ended up calling me. Does that look better? Or do you guys like it zoomed in better? I don't know what's better. So I put this on my story. And I was like, literally just ask me anything. We'll answer some questions as long as... I'll answer for like 10 minutes or so or until my battery runs out or I run out of storage or something. How long did it take you to get good at this kind of polymer clay making? Okay, so long story short, maybe I'll do like a whole story time on how I started doing clay, but I started doing clay when I was like 11 or 12 because I saw, because I was obsessed with YouTube at that age with my little iPod, and I always watched YouTube videos, and I always was like a really crafty kid, so I was always looking for new ideas and new things to like make, and I stumbled upon polymer clay stuff, and I got addicted. I was like watching polymer clay like collection videos and tutorials and so many things and I just was like I gotta try this so then my mom got me like a few blocks of clay some tools a pasta machine and some stuff and that pasta machine was the same pasta machine that I just ruined and I have to ship out so that's why I've had the pasta machine for so long because it's the first ever one I had besides the point so I started when I was 12 11 12 and then I kept doing it for years and years until I was probably going into like high school then I stopped just because I was getting more into drawing at that age I love drawing maybe I'll insert like some pictures here of like my drawings and stuff because I loved drawing I was also especially obsessed with drawing hair don't know why actually I do know why because I was obsessed with if you guys don't know who this is but her username at the time was color me creative and she always drew the most beautiful hair and I was obsessed with her so I always was like copying her art not copying but like I was very very influenced by her art style and it was always like hair stuff so I always was drawing hair as well so that's why I was obsessed with drawing hair because of her um, and to this day I probably wouldn't have gone into art going into college if I didn't start being inspired by her and her Instagram page her art Instagram page isn't up anymore but Maybe she'll bring it back one day. She had a whole mental health thing. And so her, her account that you can go watch now is Christina Webb. I think underscore. So go check her out if you guys want to see her art. I was in high school doing my art stuff. And then I started doing clay again back in 2020 when COVID 
like the quarantine happened and all that kind of stuff. We were all in lockdown, we were all bored. And I got out my old clay from when I was 12. And I, it was still good. Like some of it was really hard and like I had to throw it out, but some of it I could still use. So I was just kind of playing around with it because I couldn't leave the house anyways. And I ended up making tons of cool earrings and here we are. I started making videos and posting them on TikTok and I went from a thousand followers to 10,000 to 50,000 to 100,000 to now 500,000. So it's crazy. I don't know. Anyways, that's how I started with the clay stuff. Yeah. Um, someone asked me how I do my sprinkles. I think I'm going to do, do a tutorial on my Meg's Tutorials Clay account on YouTube and like do a breakdown of how to make sprinkles because a lot of people are asking about that and I think that that would be really helpful. So let me know in the comments if you want that. If not, I'm probably just going to do it anyways. <laughs> is this your full-time job? Yes, it is. Um, a lot of people don't know that, I think, on my Instagram. A lot of people are like, how do you have so much time for your business? I'm like, guys, this is my full-time job thing like I don't know how this happened I graduated college thinking I was to become a graphic designer which a lot of this stuff that I do involves a lot of stuff that I've learned with graphic design so if I didn't go into college to learn how to make business cards how to make ads how to make videos how to edit videos like how to edit this video I wouldn't be here so thank you college um you know that's not saying that you have to go to college to become a business owner or or create things online like you don't you can like Skillshare you can learn so much stuff so I'm not saying you have to go to college to start anything but it definitely helped me a lot and yeah it was definitely worth it for me but yeah it's my full-time job now um, I get paid for content creation um, I don't get paid on TikTok for like ads or anything like only Americans get that or Americans in Germany you get it in the United Kingdom I think you get it in Spain, I think you get it. I think a few other places get it. But in Canada, you don't get paid for per views. Um, I don't know why. You just don't. It's whatever. I get paid for ads on there. So if I make a video for a company and I work with them, like I work with Michaels, I work with Cricut, like you get paid for that. So that's how I get paid for TikTok. Um, my shop brings in my main income. Like that's my main income. And then sponsorships. So yeah. And then I have little like side things that I do here and there, but it's they're nothing crazy what inspires you to continue with your business even when personal issues are happening love you by the way oh thank you love you um so when personal issues are happening like a lot of stuff when I was living at home or not at home I should say when I was living at my parents house and the whole toxic relationship things were happening and and uh toxic family members it's like for me, the business is what kept me going and that's what helped me push through the pain basically because that's what was motivating me. That was pushing me to get out. Now that I've moved out, dealing with my personal anxiety and kind of trying to move on from that trauma is really hard and sometimes like you have really down days. And I feel like also being a self-employed artist, you're really alone and you don't know how to like socialize. Like my social skills are down the drain now that I started vlogging every day though my social skills have gotten a lot better like talking I don't know why I think that it's gonna help me start going live again hopefully okay I'm getting this question actually quite a lot um what clay piece takes the longest and what's the clay piece that's the fastest so I actually don't know I might have to go look say the burritos the turtle earrings maybe the cake earrings the cakes take a while, just because I make so many. Especially the confetti cherry one. Because you do the little confetti specs, that takes a really long time. The fastest pair of earrings is probably my gummy bear earrings. I literally pop it in a mold and pop it out. That's why they're the cheapest earrings in my shop. Um, <laughs> so, those ones are really easy to make. You literally just pop whatever color you want in a mold, pop it out of the mold, put an eye pin in, bake it, glue the eye pin in, make them into earrings. So those are the cheapest and those are some items that I sometimes give out for free on really big orders. Anyways, that's the last question I'm answering, but I hope you guys like this little Q&A. If you guys want more of these and you guys kind of want to ask me more questions, even just about like my personal life, you guys can even leave them in the comments down below on this video and maybe I'll answer them in the next vlog or something. Um, but yeah, so that's my little, my first ever Q&A on my channel, which is kind of weird. But I'm really liking this YouTube thing. I think it's really fun. Anyways, I'm going to have to edit this like crazy because 
this is really long but if you guys like my vlog channel or you guys like clay tutorials you can follow my makes tutorials on youtube for clay tutorials if you guys like my vlogs and you like me you can subscribe to this channel um and yeah that's about it i love you guys i will see you in the next vlog bye